Hello and welcome to Pride of London Fan TV. Ali here bringing you my match review of the game at Selhurst Park between Palace and Burnley, which of course finished one all. Sean Dyches, who I do believe is Prince Harry's real dad, but Sean Dyches, Burnley, have frustrated us and it has finished one all. We were unable to get the winner despite having 11 shots on goal to Burnley's 5 and 58% of possession. So it does feel a little bit flat after the momentous win midweek against Watford, where Wilfred Saha ensured that he continues to live rent-free in Watford fans' head, as he has done since 2013. But let's get into it. All the usual features today with Patrick Vieira's rating and man of the match. It's the review of Palace 1, Burnley 1. I'm going to start with Vieira's rating. I'm going to give Vieira a 6 today. I was baffled by the team selection, like many, I think, um, when it came out. I, I really wanted today us to put the same side out and just build some momentum. Um, we haven't been able to do that for a long time because of AFCON and COVID and injuries. And I felt like it was time maybe to just put the same 11 out. But he, he went for the front three, really, which was which was the biggest shock. But I kind of, when I got my head around it, could see what he was doing there. And if you put Meteto or Benteke up, you're, you're matching the physicality of Burnley's centre-backs. And that's their biggest attribute. So he went for Schlupp. Uh, and Saha sort of transitioning with Saha predominantly through the middle. Um, and he's sort of going for that pace in behind. And you have to say it was vindicated with a goal, wasn't it, when Schlepp scored? And that was the thing as well. I thought, if you are going to go with a sort of more pacey forward, why not Edward? And if you're Edward, you're sitting on the bench thinking, what have I done wrong here? He had such a good December. But again, Schlepp got the goal, so Vieira is vindicated. And I don't think you can blame the starting eleven on us not getting the three points. It was us coming out after half time so naively i mean we do things that sunday league managers must say to their teams like you know see the game out start the second half with your focus and it's like we give them a goal straight away and um, i do feel a bit sorry for luca to be honest because i actually thought first half he had one of his better games that he's had in the last sort of year and a half two years for us which isn't saying much but i don't think he was too bad and um, then he was hooked pretty uh, pretty quickly after the own goal and um, but, you know, it it put them back in the game. And I think as well, we should have really finished them off in the first half. At least they had a really good effort. Um, but I don't think we really built on the, on taking the lead early enough. And, you know, Nathaniel Klein at one point had a shot like he was the right-hand side of Roberto Carlos. I've never seen him have a long shot like that before. Um, but we didn't, we didn't kill the game off, essentially, in the first half, which we should have done. And then second half, they get that early goal. And then I guess where you can look at the areas, the substitutes... Um, I personally would have brought Will Fuse on because I felt like we needed someone in that middle with his passing range, his incisive passing to break the lines of Burnley. And they just really drew us into their game. They made it extremely scrappy and they did what you'd expect Burnley to do. They were utterly filthy. Um, 17 fouls. Only two bookings, though. I do feel the ref should have stamped on them quicker. Um, and hopefully Elise is all right. He sort of got the Wilfred Saha treatment today, didn't he? They were absolutely assaulting him left, right and centre. Um, but, you know, fair play to Burnley. They came and did what you'd expect a team like Burnley to do in that position. Um, and they got an important point. Um, so I think really, again, looking at the era, could he have made a different change? Could he have brought someone like Edouard on? But he brought Mateta on, which I agreed with, because I, I like it. I prefer Mateta off the bench. I think he's a bit of a wild card to play in those last 20, particularly in front of the homestay. He feeds off the crowd. You know, he's a character. He was giving it to Nick Pope today when he was time-wasting, counting down. Uh, I just didn't quite drop for him, and it didn't just quite drop for us. So I hit in the post. And it is just one of those days, really. And I think, really, I agreed with him, really keeping Wilf on the left and Lise on the right, because it was working really well absolutely loving those two feeding off each other. I mean, the the past, the, the crossfield balls they're giving to each other are sensational. And they they really are, they are the, the best wing partnership we've, we've had since Balassi and Saha. That goes without saying. And Lise is just looking absolutely brilliant. And we'll come on to that in a moment with Man of the Match. And I, I will come to Man of the Match. I, I, it's got to be Elise, hasn't it? Um, his assist was just, just absolutely first class. But it's just the way he's, taking players on so easily, uh, makes it look so easy. Um, and just not even in, 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 in their half, but in our half too. Um, I just hope that he's all right because he did look like he had a bad injury at one point. Um, but Saha as well, I thought, had another good game and um, building on from Watford, but 
bit unlucky when he hit the post and it just it just didn't fall for us today. And it's one of those days. So man of the match for me is at least say, I don't think too many people are going to disagree with that. Let me know if you do in the comments below. Uh, looking ahead now to um, Burnley. Um, looking ahead, sorry, not to Burnley, to Stoke. Looking ahead to Stoke uh, midweek. What changes would you make? Uh, I'd definitely bring Eze in the team. He needs the, in, he needs the minutes. I mean, lots of people dreaming of Elise on the right, Saha on the left, and Elise in the middle. And I think that day will come at some point, not quite yet. Um, I think he needs to build his fitness up. And we definitely need to give Elise uh, Eze a start um, midweek against Stoke because he needs these minutes. And I think it's the kind of game, you know, that he can play in. A, and I think he'll have a big impact. And I think I'll probably start with Teta as well. Uh, it's a massive game because obviously we win then we're one game from Wembley. But we've got to take it seriously. Stoke can't do too badly in the Championship. They're going to be bang up for it. Uh, we've got to be on it from minute one and keep our focus, which obviously we didn't do after the first half today. But as I said, hugely frustrating game. I've gone with a Vieira rating of six. What would you give Vieira? Let me know in the comments below. And who would be your man of the match? As I said, I don't think too many are going to disagree with Elise today. Um, but we still got Super Pat Vieira. Check that out on the channel. I uh, recorded that chant today. Uh, midweek, could we do it? Could we go to Wembley? We could be one game away. Got to see past Stoke first. Let's hope that we do it. Let's hope we're feeling glad all over on Tuesday night. As always, if you've liked this chat, this uh, video, press the subscribe button.